In this lesson, you are going to learn about the significance of the structure and function of cell. Now, you know that in multicellular organisms, there are various types of systems present to perform those vital activities. For example, the systems like skeletal system, it gives a shape, a structure to your body. Also, you can see a digestive system, it digests your yummy food. Now, you also have this muscular system which helps you to move around, right? So, all these systems, they are made up of those tiny numerous cells. So, if, if this tiny cell is going to make all the systems together, of course not. The similar cells, they group together to perform that assigned function. Let me simplify for you by taking an example of a muscle cell. So a muscle cell, it relaxes and it contracts to basically perform that movement of your body. But can this tiny muscle cell move such a big body of yours? Of course not. So what did it do? These muscle cells, they group together to form that structure and to work efficiently. These group of cells that we just saw are called as tissues. Now, these tissues, they again collectively form an organ. For example, now if you just see the muscles, the muscle cells, they combine to form a muscular tissue, they are, now they are going to form an organ and now finally these organs, they work together to form an organ system. So we have just now seen how muscle cells form a muscular system. Similarly, why don't you also try to see what all cells are present in your body and find out which system these cells are going to make. So in this lesson, you have seen why a cell is called as a basic structural and functional unit of your body.